Hi, this is Mr. D. Hobbs, and welcome to episode 56 on the Kindred server. As you can see, I'm somewhere a bit different at the moment. I'm actually in my boat heading through the Never on the way to the Ocelot Sanctuary, which is something a bit new. Um, so, whilst I'm heading on my way over there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you a pre recording I did where I was actually making a, uh, a machinery to actually convert the concrete powder into concrete blocks ready for this next task that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I'll catch you in a bit once I've once you've watched that recording. Cheers. Okay, so whilst I was preparing for the um, to go to the Ocelot Sanctuary, I realised that I didn't have a whole amount of whole lot of concrete powder and concrete um, blocks. So what I decided to do is I made this uh, made some concrete powder up by going off to the desert and farming some sand and some gravel, and then I made this farm here, which converts the the actual concrete powder into the concrete blocks. Um, it's actually a design that's been adapted from the one that was on um, OMG Crafts uh, YouTube account. And basically what happens is when you place the powder here, the water turns it into concrete. That then completes the circuit which pushes the block out. And then once the blocks come all the way across to here, they then complete the circuit again here. And then these pistons push the blocks all the way across. So you do. Just stand here, press the button, and away you go. Now, you have to take your shield out, that's it, and then you just hold the right shift, uh, right mouse button down, and away you go. There you go, you've probably just heard the second set of pistons going there, so we'll just do it, let it go again. Oh, the bit of a glitch there. There you go, so it's going again. So you can see as the pistons are pushing it all the way along here, when it gets to the end, this part of the circuit is completed and the whole lot gets pushed out. So if we just fill up the rest of this line. How are we doing? One, two, three, four more to go. Okay, so this should be the last one. Yes, yeah, so there's one gap there, and you notice that when we press this, there you go, it all gets pushed out. And then we do just flick across to your pick. It doesn't have to be silk touch. And then you just run along here knocking them all out. The On the OMG uh, video they actually said about building this on the floor uh, the danger with doing that is the fact that obviously then you can whilst you're mining all these blocks out you can then accidentally mine the floor out as well so that's why I built it up in the air like that so there's no danger of mining the ceiling and also you notice the ceiling here is all wood as well which means it will take a long time to mine it with this pick so it tends to be uh, quite safe. Now the only problem with this design compared to the one on their website is for some reason when they they have a, a piston here but I find that when the when I put my concrete powder here it powers not only that piston but it also powers this piston as well that piston pushes out and the block stays where it is so I had to exchange that for a normal block which then allows me just to stand here hold the right click ah it does do that sometimes though this is where it's a bit of server lag or something causes it to go out of sync, so we just delete those, reset it, and it's off again. There we go. Yeah, it's strange, sometimes it does get caught by a bit of server lag. And away we go, you can see it goes through a stack of blocks relatively quickly. That's them all done. And the other advantage is as you're walking around mining all these out you're actually picking up the blocks that have fallen on the floor as well so you sort of do two jobs at once there you go so that's how you get concrete quickly okay so just quickly whiz these back up to the uh, wrong way back up to my storage room hi cats and light grey goes up here okay light grey concrete there you go so yeah so this is how I managed to convert all of these concrete powder into the various concrete blocks and they're all now ready to go. Okay, back to over to the Ocelot Sanctuary. Okay, so here we are over at the uh, Ocelot Sanctuary and basically this is a jungle temple that's been um, adapted, shall we say, by many by Killer Princess, Clip Clip and Permission Lost and um, this is a rather large jungle tree that goes all the way down there and all the way up to there which I think basically that is just above bedrock 
and up there is build limit um, so yeah so this is the the sanctuary itself as you can see quite a few cats spawning in here hence the name and uh, yeah basically this was a, a natural jungle that has been um, conditioned shall we say using these jungle leaves to make the whole area unspawnable for anything other than the cats and we were hoping also for parrots but unfortunately it appears that the parrots aren't actually uh, spawning in here for some reason which is a little bit unfortunate but we're getting lots and lots of cats anyway okay now um, the reason why I've come over here um, is because Killer Princess has asked me to actually do some uh, pixel models of the cats um, so what we'll do, just head on over this way doop, doop, doop. now in the jungle temple there is a uh, no not one well, of that's the jungle temple in the woodland mansion there is a a cat made out of wool which is this guy here this is me just recreating it in dirt um, but as with everything on this server that ain't big enough killer princess wants things a bit bigger to look make it look a bit better so this way let's do slightly faster travel okay right out of the way pussycats okay so over here we have that one was a the standard 3x3 size this one is in a slightly larger we have 3x3 head this one's got a slightly larger high 5x5 head with mobs attached to it Um, come on. Oh dear, snuffling skills are useless. There we go. Um, yeah, so that'll slightly pick up again. Doesn't seem quite big enough. Um, it seems so infested with mobs. So then I then went next level up, which is a 7x7. Seven seven. I'll just. I'm sure, one of the cats has teleported to me then. Um, yeah, so this is then the. 7x7 seven seven. and this is looking a bit more reasonable a little bit more so the sort of size we want obviously trees are getting in the way now but we can cut those down and make a bit more room but yeah this is getting more to the sort of size that we want what's what I thought so anyway so KP came on the server and she was like yeah that's a good start but bigger so I'm over here today to come hi I'm over here today to come over to this spot here to actually make a uh, a nine by nine sized um, pretty cat sitting down, which will be sitting just about here. And I think we're going to have it looking in towards the the main sanctuary, so you can see what it looks like. Also, the cats can see what it looks like. And what we're going to do is we're going to have like an observation tower inside, observation room inside the, the cat, so you can actually look out and look into this sort of area here. What we'll do actually whilst I'm here, before I get started on that, is I'll just show you what this place looks like. So if we little oh, ding come on, there we go, got there in the end. Right. Okay, now we're up in the air. There we go. So you can see it's quite an impressive size, so you can see the amount of space that's been uh despawned and even all the way out here outside of the actual sanctuary itself, you can see all this area here has all been uh carpeted so that mobs aren't able to spawn anywhere around out here either just to make the area a bit safer obviously you're going to have to make those cats spawn proof up here we have a uh, iron farm because KP likes her iron farms ouch hitting the uh, world limit it's not going to do um, yeah KP likes her iron farms so we've got one of these over here so that all the time that she's over here and the area's loaded in, it'll be producing iron for her. It's down here somewhere, I'm sure it was. I can hear the villagers down there humming at each other. Oh, light dragon kicked in then, that was a bit of a scary moment. But yeah, so there's the uh, the villager. So yeah, so it's quite an impressive area. KP and Kip Kip and uh, Mission also been working on this for a while now. It's starting to really come come alive now. Okay, now what I want to do is just come in here. 
And the reason why I want to come down in here is to show the other half of this build which is down here Ooh, I think you can again bloody thing right oops and as you see this is actually underground now so this is like the base of the the tree this whole area has been spawn proofed as well and uh, yeah this is a little villager breeder so ready for the for the villagers up top keep that active now if you remember a few episodes ago I showed you my uh, creeper farm that I designed for uh, killing the creepers off and getting a load of gunpowder well this is KP's version of it yeah it's a bit bigger than mine and as you can see it's a bit more active but it certainly works pretty well keep on hearing seeing lights come on she keeps on changing things as I come over here it's, this has been changed again by other things so auto kill is up kill box down gunpowder is up records is down all right so she's also converting it into a record um, farm as well which would be quite interesting must be some skillies around somewhere but yes as you can see quite an effective little farm working very nicely I mean, typical KP style, gone completely over the top. Awesome. Right, okay, I'm going to get started on this uh, cat models, and I'll bring it back in a bit. See you soon. Okay, so this is after using one stack of the um, white concrete, and uh, quite a bit, about half a stack or so of the grey concrete. And uh, this is just to give me a rough idea of the sort of size and scale of the uh, the cat. And I think I've come across my first problem, and that is, this is I've got way, way too few resources for doing this. Um, yeah, but quite a bit of black with me, not very much white, a few bits of grey and whatever. But yeah, if this is just if this is all one stack of white does, then it's going to take. Quite a bit more. <laughs> I need about another seven or eight stacks of the white. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to have to head back to my base, go and collect some more uh, concrete, farm up some more, and uh, then we can come back here and carry on what I'm doing. But yeah, I think the size is quite nice. Should be a good sort of size, but it's uh, going to take quite a bit of uh, the old concrete. Okay, back again in a second. Hi and welcome back. Um, yeah, so far I've gone through. I think I believe must be about eight stacks of white concrete, and I've even gone through and changed some of the uh, like the sides just here. Use concrete powder rather than concrete, and I'm using white wool on all the top sections here as well. Um, and as I said, I've gone through about must be about eight or so stacks of. Um, concrete blocks and I'm probably only about halfway through so far so this is gonna be a big old project so I'm need to go off and go and find some more uh, gravel and sand so I can start making up some more of these blocks because it's gonna take a long time to build them but it is actually looking quite impressive if I just head on down into it ouch so this is what it looks like from the inside so you could actually oh, just get rid of that structure block um, yeah it is actually quite a quite a big structure from inside so I think one of the suggestions KP came up with was to actually have this as a uh, like an observation room and yeah from the look at it from the inside I think that's going to be quite doable okay I'll be back in again a bit once I've done a bit more uh, mining and uh, crafting see you in a bit Welcome back to the Ocelot Sanctuary, and as you can see, the cat's now done. It's taken a little while to get to this stage, uh, mainly because I've been away on my holidays for a week, the family. Um, but yeah, we finally managed to get the first cat done. You can see the other dirt cats are still there, so I've still got to get them completed, but this is the first completed cat. 
So what I did is I copied the original design, but once I got it built, I then actually added in a few curves and things like that, like here at the, the shoulders, well, the elbow, and down here at the back of the legs, just to make it look a little bit more rounded off. I think it looks a little bit better. Similarly up there with the tail. So yeah, so there, a couple of little design features there, just to make things a little bit, a little bit more natural looking. Still could do a bit more work on that as well. And also added in these, uh, if I just come in the front here, it's pretty easy to see. There you go, add in these black stained glass panes to make look like claws. I think they're quite effective. Okay, now uh, if we just come around the back here, so you can see you've got the cat's actually sitting on this big plinth. And there's a come around the back. This is now the interior, so you can see it's just all platformed out there and there. And then following up the stairs here come up to this platform viewing area here behind which is actually the eyes and you actually see out and look out over the whole of the sanctuary from this side we'll see the actual um the actual jungle temple there actually blocks out quite a bit of the view but that's the whole point but yeah it actually gives a good view all the way around the actual sanctuary and even looking through the eyeball you have a good look around and see what's going on so Looking over there, you better see when the next cat's finished. That's where it'll be. One over that way, and one behind the trees over there. Okay, awesome. So this is one down, three more to go. Oh, that flight didn't go too well. <laughs> one down, three more to go. And why does it just head back on over this way again? Just so you can see what the cat looks like with those eyes from outside. Yeah, there you go, so you can actually see the eyes are nicely lit up there by those sea lanterns. And we've even just head all the way up to the top here. You can just about to see, there you go. Of course, me is at the top there as well. Yeah, I think that works out quite nicely. I may well look into actually just giving a bit of texture to this large white area here, maybe putting in some white wool or something like that just to break up that large area. Um, just to give it a bit of a belly. Because at the moment it's looking a little bit plain. But yeah, the general general feel, the general designs there. So now what I need to do is I now just need to replicate that three more times all the way around the outside in the various different colours of the cats. Um, and then that'll be job done. But it's going to be quite a major task. I believe it was somewhere in the region of about 20 stacks of um, concrete, the white white concrete and concrete powder and things. And as you can see, used quite a bit of variety of colours there on the tail. Let's try and break things up a bit. And obviously also in the head design. These uh, end rods here are just here purely for lighting purposes, obviously to stop mobs from spawning. I am looking at either hiding lights underneath carpet or just generally laying the whole area with carpet over it to stop any mobs from spawning. But yeah, just as a temporary measure. It's uh, a prickly cat. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, one down, three more to go. And... Uh, think what it is, I'll, uh, I might just end the video here actually because the next one's going to take a little while to get done. So if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like, if you don't already please subscribe and I'll catch you again in the next video. Ciao for now, bye!